so Diera posted photos of her and her boo. Of course, her boo's face wasn't showing, but people had a pretty good idea of who the person in this photo was. Now, Diera did pin a comment that stated private but not a secret. So now there was a tweet that has been going viral on Twitter that states, Dira stole that girl from her friend and never looked back. She looks happy too. So now it's on site posted this tweet and stated social media still isn't over popular YouTuber Dira Taylor still in her ex friend slash makeup artist girlfriend and people in the comments were going in on Dira. They stated things like, no wonder why Ken didn't marry her. Another person states, Dear is trifling. She's nobody's friend. I see why Ken was outside doing him. She was the problem. Now, these are only a couple comments. There were a lot of comments going in on Deira. So now Ari, which is the ex-girlfriend of the girl that Deira is allegedly dating right now, states, eat her A up thought ish was sweet then she reposted a comment that was on that same post from on site that stated there's about seven billion people in this world i will never understand dating the one that your friend has dated now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below but let's move on to this next topic with king and lena now you guys know they recently had their second child their second daughter they posted a truth or drink on their YouTube channel and it wasn't drinking alcohol it was actually shots of the baby's milk now a question was asked about King marrying Lena is it true that you plan on being married before the end of the year uh, I can't even keep y'all on my track like that <laughs> he's pouring up for himself damn man, that shit, like, <laughs> man I can't even bro Go ahead, baby. Take your shot. Take oh, your wait, wait. Shot. Let me think twice. Let me think twice. Because I can take this shot or I can, like. You already poured it up. No, 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 no. That's what really for you. That's yours. That's you. I, I don't want that it. one. No, I'm only using this one because it's clear so you can see that you're really drinking it. This one you can't really see. So it's like, let's just use this one. So I just. See, I like that. Babe, come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we'll, I got this one. <clears throat> Like, I feel like we in court, you know? And I can't really like tell a judge everything. Cause I mean, he already gonna try to slam me. So why would I do that? I gotta try to get as less. Now people in the comment section feels like King is never going to marry Lena. They were saying things like, this is why you wait to have kids. And that's crazy. Gave him two kids and you can't even marry her. Shaking my head, your daughter's gonna see this one day. Another person states, he don't wanna marry her and it's sad. If he did, he would have explained that he wants to marry her, but he's not ready this year or something. Another person says, so basically no and no comment. And that man don't want no marriage because she doing wife material things before being a wife. So it ain't gonna matter. So you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. So now most of you guys already know Corey has pretty much been exposing Carmen little by little. Now he already exposed that she actually is it from the United States that she is an illegal immigrant? Now, he went on to his Instagram yesterday and put out all of these statements, basically stating that he was dropping a video, putting out the whole truth. Now, Corey did drop this video yesterday, and in this video, there was a lot going on. Now, I will link the video in the description box or down in the comment section, but I will say Corey put out a lot of recordings recordings now one of the recordings he put out was of Carmen texting some guy which Carmen already admitted to doing that he also put out video of when the cops actually came to their house this was the time that Corey went live on Instagram for about a minute stating that he called the cops on Carmen and the cops actually made him leave and then he made a comment like she's not even supposed to be here so anyways yesterday he also put out this video of Carmen I mean, you can tell that she is intoxicated and she's speaking on not being from the U.S. Like our life changed every day and you have to transfer into a new person every day. 
but this is nothing against you, Poppy. I will forever be a United States immigrant. Unless I have American paper with my name on it. So I feel that's something we battle at all times. Like, even though like that's why when like I fuck with you, I married you. That was my mom go. I ain't gonna lie to my mom go was for me to marry an American person. So I can get my citizenship. But yeah. And I feel like I really don't talk to you about it because sometimes this shit is embarrassing. And then sometimes I feel like when people don't really understand where you come from, it will make a person feel like a person using. So you guys definitely go check out that video. Corey put out about 20 minutes worth of recordings of him and Carmen. And in most of these clips, Carmen was actually intoxicated. So it seems like Corey is trying to say that the reason behind the breakup was that Carmen was always drinking. And if you guys remember that clip of Carmen's friend stating that Carmen did drink and smoke a lot during their relationship because she was drinking and smoking to get through the pain that the relationship was causing her. So you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. I'm curious to know if Carmen will respond to any of this. If you guys remember, Corey's former cameraman did state that there was a big altercation in Orlando, which Corey did include that part in his video but Alex stated that Corey actually put hands on Carmen so I'm curious to know if Carmen will respond to everything that Corey's doing as of now she hasn't said anything Favor? what's up y'all how y'all doing day day Friday day. man listen video drop on YouTube if I go on YouTube watch my video I'm gonna lie and say this I'm gonna say one thing I'm gone so crazy this is not about me, all right? Let me tell y'all what this is. This is, this is, it's something that's gonna happen real big for happen. A lot of y'all gonna see it. Everybody that's following my other page, shout out to y'all, y'all see what's going on. I'm gonna drop some more shit on my other page. I want y'all to see. I'm not getting on go like this. I want y'all to see. I see you. Everybody that, everybody, Let's take this shit for a joke that I've been speaking on. Spiritually connected for real. And that's crazy you said that because this is what I'm gonna speak on, dead ass. Everybody that thought I was joking, let's just see it. I'm gonna say this right quick, without like I gotta take a shower. But I had to get on live to say this. God is looking in your favor. Everybody that's, this ain't. Listen, everybody that's not woke, wake up, man, spiritually, everybody that's woke, do not pay attention to nobody that's on negative energy right now, bro. Mark my word, y'all listen to me. Right now, it's a time for cleansing, time for healing, especially the ones, all the, the chosen ones. Everybody that know in your heart, you know who you are, you know who you worship, you know where you stand at, and you know what you've been feeling lately. I can't tell you, nobody else can't tell you, you know what you've been feeling lately. And it ain't no rare feeling. It's a huge transition going on right now, right? Now, the reason I speak on this so fluently and so boldly because, <laughs> I mean, you guys already know how spiritual I am. Y'all should know what's up. It's my duty to be a person to lead without being scared of leading. It's a lot of blind people right now and, and y'all and a lot of y'all following these blind people with this negative energy and everything like this, bro. It's, 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 it's crazy, but it's like, it's like, you know, I spoke on this shit the other day. I don't, I, listen, ignore every negative person that come across you right now. Listen. Don't speak too much. The time is not to talk so much right now because a lot of y'all have talked long enough and y'all are lost. Y'all don't even know what the fuck going on spiritually and it's real. And shit happening right in our face. On my page, whoever followed me on my other page, I ain't even accept nobody yet. 
And I haven't accepted nobody yet. Let me tell y'all, I know a lot of y'all trying to follow me, y'all trying to get into this page, y'all trying to see what's going on. The reason I haven't accepted nobody yet, because it's like, like God, you got, you gotta, you gotta show people. And when a person don't take that step, if a person don't believe, lead them out to not believe. Eventually, they go see. Sometimes it's too late. Some of y'all might be saved, but a lot of people, listen, y'all gonna be seeing a lot of people with empty souls walking around y'all. Y'all gonna see a lot of people. That's 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 moving in this world empty inside because they didn't want to believe. They was too trapped into the system, and the system is collapsing. I'm gonna speak on one thing. I'm gonna go. When I speak on the other lie, y'all gonna be like, "Oh shit, he not lying." Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it just yet. I can't say it just yet. I'm gonna say it on my other page. And the I'm gonna try to say this. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all exactly why Corey not saying what he wanna say on this main page. Because it's too many empty souls on this live right now. It's too many people that are still stuck in the matrix right now. It's too many people that don't even want to take in what I'm saying because they just so stuck into the to the matrix and, and, and what, what they are seeing. Like for example, if you're not waking up in the fifth dimension, you're still stuck in the third dimension. Listen to me. The people that's going into the fifth dimension, we can see things that these people can't see. All my word, y'all might think I'm lying. Y'all might think I'm stupid. Y'all might think I'm talking crazy. You're gonna see. It's things that the third, the people living in the third dimension still cannot see. But the people who is literally raised in high vibration, we is aware of things that's happening. So I say that to say this. To all my people, and you know in your heart, you know in your soul right now. You feel this energy that I'm speaking on, you know what I'm talking about. Straight up. Now, I know a lot of y'all support me for me and shit like that.